Hey you. guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little performance test here with the latest OnePlus uh, 6T on the left with the Note 9. Uh, this is Snapdragon 845 versus the latest Exynos with 6 gigs of RAM. Uh, so let's see how it does compare here. Uh, historically, Samsung phones haven't been the fastest. Uh, but we can see if the Note 9 can dominate with the performance mode on. And obviously with the OnePlus you are getting some new features that you don't get on the Note 9 such as the in-screen fingerprint reader which is pretty awesome as well as more up-to-date software. Uh, so you can see the Note still boots on a little bit faster here which is a nice start, but the OnePlus isn't too far behind. Uh, I've been quite uh, curious about the fingerprint scanner here, see uh, how it works, see if it's any good. So uh, you can see we just turn it off here and then just touch the screen, basically. Isn't that marvelous? Uh, so that is uh, very fast and reliable. It was a little bit finicky at first, but then they rolled out a software update which really uh, improved it. You can see it's uh, even more reliable than the Note here, uh, which is on the back still. Uh, but they're both pretty good, you know. Most people use the face unlock anyway nowadays, so it's not really that huge deal. Uh, in terms of display, I'd say that the OnePlus gets a little bit brighter here. Uh, it looks uh, a little bit uh, more vivid, I'd say, head-on, which is pretty amazing achievement given that Samsung usually has the best displays, but obviously with the Note you are getting the fantastic resolution 2K, uh, so that uh, you know it does uh, make up for that. Uh, let's have a look at the performance then. Everything's closed down and up to date. Uh, so we'll just open up a few apps here. And uh, you can see they've got some new kind of animations on the OnePlus, uh, which look pretty cool. It makes it look uh, much more rapid, actually. Uh, so you can see OnePlus is pretty much dominating on all of them here, which I did suspect. Every Note phone that I've ever had seems to kind of like chugged along. It's never been really that fast, particularly when you own them for a couple of months. They seem to uh, kind of slow down a little bit. But you can see that in terms of the inbuilt apps, it's quite similar actually, not too different overall. Uh, let's try the Play Store. So this one. Uh, so you can see some of them note coming back here, which is pretty good. The games as well. But I think I'm going to overall say that the OnePlus seems to load them a little bit faster here. Maybe I'm talking too soon. Or no, it seems that... Uh, you can see, look at the display difference there, it seems that the OnePlus display is way better here for some reason. Uh, it looks way more kind of vivid. Uh, head on. Let's just try another one. I think they call it Optic uh, OLED or Optic AMOLED. They do some amazing calibration. So another one going to the OnePlus. Even with the pop-up there, <laughs> again OnePlus. It's no contest really. And the Note, as I said, is in the performance mode. I couldn't find a performance mode on the OnePlus. It doesn't really need it, does it? Absolutely fantastic optimization. Uh, so you can see very good overall performance here in terms of the uh, stuff. I've got some weird kind of new multitasking, copying the iPhone here. Hopefully I'll find out how to change that. I do prefer the old traditionalist way. 
Uh, but I'm assuming you can see both of them looking pretty good when it comes to the holding memory. You know, it's 6 gigs of RAM in both of them. You can get the 8 gig, but I never do because I never need to. I mean, look at that. Absolutely flawless multitasking uh, on both of them. But yeah, I'm just shocked at how good the display is on the OnePlus phone. It's just so much better head on. You know, you Samsung, you usually have the best display on the market, but not anymore. Uh, let's have a look at your games. Uh, this one. Back in there straight away. Another one. this one so absolutely no problems with the multitasking which is what I expected uh, going to do a quick little Wi-Fi test I have had to uh, take on another provider because I moved where I am so I'm not with Virgin unfortunately at the moment but we should be able to in fact, with the the uh, original one, which I complained about ages ago, uh, PlusNet, because that was the only one doing the decent speeds here. So uh, we're just going to have to make do for a bit until we get the uh, Virgin back in this area. Uh, so I think it's on 50 meg, but really I'm interested in how strong the signal is because I'm quite far away from my router a few walls deep so we can uh, see just putting this one on the same one there we go so let's start with one plus here oh yeah I'm uploading as well to uh, YouTube which may affect the upload a little bit but you see how they perform nevertheless so we're going back to the 2G days as you can see we're going all retro here uh, that, that is 5G I can assure you but it doesn't look like it uh, but OnePlus is doing amazing I've got to say you know you look at the sales figures uh, I think this sold like 80% more than uh, the OnePlus 6 with the OnePlus 6T which is an amazing progression uh, that's in the US so you can see here people are wanting really good spec for a good price you know they're not really bothered about paying twice the amount here um, but then again the Note does have you know a lot of independent features which you're not going to get with any other phone so I'd say it is the best alternative if you're looking for like yes pen etc. Uh, I think we don't get any full waterproofing on the OnePlus, but does anyone really need that? You know, it's, I've never water damaged a phone. I don't think maybe one or two, but not on unintentionally. Uh, you can see in terms of the upload, just beating it here, the Note, uh, but the download going to the OnePlus. So. Excellent performance here from OnePlus. So we'll be doing some other comparisons with some other phones, checking out how it compares here. Uh, I think for the value, 500 euro versus like a thousand euro, you can't really go wrong. Ultimately, uh, so yeah, just a quick little comparison here. Hope you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.